This is your tutor, Blanca Rangel. And today we're going to solve problem 12.1 of night. OK. So let's get to it. So we have a high spill drill. Reaches 2000 revolutions per minute in 0 0.5 seconds. OK. So here the one that's asking us what is the drills? Angular acceleration. And through how many revolutions? And through how many revolutions does it turn during the first 0 0.50 seconds? OK. So this is chapter 12 from the for the textbook night. So in chapter 12, we are reviewing. Rotational. Bodies. So we're going to go over everything that we have learned so far. And but now do it in angular units. So for example, a linear translation of this is to linear. It would be a car reaches 2000 meters in 0 0.5 seconds. And it could ask us what is what is the speed? Uh, not the speed, what is the angle? What is the acceleration? That will be an analogous. So just like if we were going to solve this linearly, we're going to identify everything that's been given to us. So when you work linear, we usually have initial position, final position, initial velocity, final velocity, a constant acceleration, and time. But now, since we're going to be doing this rotational or angular, Instead of position, instead of distance. Oh, sorry. Here it will be meters per second. Uh, I don't know, 220 meters per second in 0 0.5 seconds. What is acceleration? And then how far? How far it goes. Mm -hmm. So this will be the analogous question. So instead of using linear X, we're going to use angular data, initial data, final, angular velocity, initial, angular velocity, final, acceleration, angular, and angular time. Just kidding, just time. Time is going to be the same. Mm -hmm. So for the analogous, uh, for the linear, we can do Distance is zero, we don't know where it ends. Velocity initial is zero, final is 20. Acceleration, we don't know, and time is 0 0.5. So this will be the units that we would do for linear. Now for angular, we know that the angular position that we have is zero. We don't know where it ends. The initial speed, the initial angular speed is going to be zero. The final is 2000 revolutions per minute. Acceleration we don't know and time is 0 0.5. So when we make a drawing, we're going to have a drill. Right, so we have a drill. And this rotates. So I'm going to draw the tip of the drill and a point. Let's say this point right here. OK. So this is where it starts. Initial speed, serial initial angle 
is zero. It's going to rotate counterclockwise because that's the positive. So this is counterclockwise. And we want to know the acceleration. For the linear drawing, this would be the car right here. And it gets to this point. OK. So this is the analogy. So we're going to have to find both position final and acceleration. We're going to do this. We work on to this is in the linear. It will be position final and acceleration. OK. So the equations. When we talk about the equations, we're going to either do, um, we can do our kinematic equations. If we were going to solve this problem linear, we will do our kinematic equations. So that would be um, velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration time. Then um, position final equals position initial plus initial velocity time plus one half time square and BF square equals BO square plus to a delta x. But now we do this angular, so we're going to do the analogy. So angular final equals angular initial plus angular acceleration. So theta f equals theta o plus. Mm -hmm alpha t square and wf square equals w o square plus two alpha changing x so just exactly like that what's happening so let's solve for acceleration first so i'm going to use the first equation to find acceleration So the so I think it's pretty clear what we're doing right now. Um, I'm gonna keep solving these only angular. So remember all of these that I showed you. This is linear, linear, and this is the linear example. But now we're gonna do angular. Angular, angular. Okay. So I'm just going to do just going to do this angular because my answer has to be in angular in angles in, in the answer. My question is angular unit, so I'm going to have to find acceleration. But remember, the SI units are radians per second. So let's change our speed. So we have 2000 revolutions per minute, and one revolution equals 2 pi times minutes, one minute equals 60 seconds. So in SI units, it will be 2000 times 2 times pi over 60. Okay, so the answer is 209.4 radians per second. Okay, so now we have angular final equals angular initial plus acceleration time. This is zero. So angular final over time equals acceleration. 
So that's going to be 209.4 over 0 0.5. So this is equals to 418.8 radians per second square. Right here. And now to find the position, we're going to use the second equation. So final position equals initial position plus angular initial time plus one half a d squared. So the symbol is alpha. OK, so this is zero. This is zero. Position final is one half of the acceleration. That's for a thin. Point eight um, times zero point five square. So times zero point five square mm -hmm, over two. Now well, I have radians is. Mm, For 18.8 times 0 0.5 square over 2. Okay, so we have 52.3 radians. So the one is the one the answer in revolutions. So let's convert that. So we have 52.3 radians. Pull radians down, radius up, radius down, revolutions. So one revolution equals two pi. Mm -hmm. So equals two. Okay, times two. Okay, fifty-two point three. Okay. Equals to eight point three revolutions. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.